Do you have a fancy three monitor setup and want to create a background that spans across all of your monitors, letting each monitor have a different image? Well, I do. And I did, so here's how I easily did it. First, open your preferred image editor. In this tutorial, I will use both Photoshop and Paint. Hashtag MS Paint Live. Then, we'll do some math. I know, math is hard. But I'm going to make it simple. You need to know the resolution of each monitor. If you have the same vertical, or the second number when you read the resolution thingy, this should work. If you do not know what that is, right-click the desktop, click on Display Set and look at the box that says resolution. Here you will see the horizontal and vertical resolution numbers I was just talking about. Just remember, the first number is horizontal and the second is vertical. Get this for all of your monitors and then add up the first monitor for each of them. Phew! 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 All of our math is done. Then open your photo editor and go to where you can change the resolution for the photo. In Photoshop, this should be seen when you create a new photo and in paint on the home tab click resize change the option to pixels then enter the number you just added up for the horizontal and enter the second number in each of your monitors resolutions for the vertical prompt in paint you might have to uncheck the box and maintain aspect ratio for this to work now you should have a super wide picture the easiest way i found to proceed is to create pictures that corresponds to the resolution of each monitor and use them as templates. To do this, open a new photo, enter the resolution for your first monitor, make the background a solid color, export the photo, and repeat this for all the other screens. I recommend you use a distinct color for each one so you can tell them apart. Now import the photos you just created into the long document. To do this in paint, you must select paste drum in the paste drop down and navigate to where you save the templates. Move each of them so that they fit with no overlapping like this and move them directly down so you know what portion of the picture will be for each screen. Finally, mark the area where each template ends and remove them from the image. For Photoshop, I recommend creating a different layer for the design markings in each template. I know guys, it's kinda confusing. If you're lost, rewind the video and pay close attention to what I am doing on screen. Now is the fun part. Make your own design! Just remember, where each of your template pictures end is where the monitor ends, so I recommend you reserve the overlapping space for things that won't look bad when distorted, like gradients. Once you are happy with the design, remove the templates, export the image, and set it as your desktop background by right-clicking and selecting that option. Wait, 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 before you comment, OMG is so ugly. like. Go into your desktop background personalization settings, select the image, and under the drop-down that says choose a fit, select span. And there you go. You should have a fully custom background that seamlessly spans across all of your screens. I hope this worked well for you. Don't be afraid to comment any questions or concerns down below. You're sure to get a reply. So thanks for watching. I hope I crafted your minds. I'll see you all in the next one.